I'm in my practice course and I want to put a text box on my page. So this little image here with the graph and a pencil on it is what I use. So you click on that and I just want to make one box. So I'm going to make one column and one row here. Just take out the two and put a one in. I do want to have a border on it, so I'm going to put a two here. You can make that a bigger border if you want. And then I click on Advanced, and I can make a border color. And you click here, and you can choose your colors. Maybe a kind of a pinkish, bright pink color will be nice. And Apply. And then the background color, maybe a nice light pink down here at the bottom. Click on that and put that in. And now I've got my box color set up and I click insert. And the box appears and you can type right in that inside the box if you want. Um, and you can make it bigger just by taking your uh, type font size and making it bigger and that brings the whole thing bigger. You can also put images in it. If you want to change the color, you don't like the color, you click on the box and you can go in and, and change the color that way. So you can do that if you want to. Sometimes if you get upset and you don't want to have that text box there, after all, no, 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 I don't want a text box here. They're sometimes hard to just pull out and erase. So what I've found is easiest is to switch views and then just find your box there with the welcome there and I take it out that way and then switch back again. So that's how I work with the text box option.